And good evening. Off the top at six tonight, a very disturbing Local 10 News exclusive, a shocking sexual assault at one of Florida's most famous landmarks, the southernmost point buoy. It was all caught on camera. Someone was watching the web camera perched above the southernmost point when that attack happened. That witness immediately called Key West police. Let's get right to Local 10's Janine Stanwood live in Key West with the exclusive. Janine. And prosecutors say that victim, a tourist, was sexually assaulted twice. The last time was right here at this very iconic landmark, which is very popular for tourists, all while that live webcam was streaming. And it turns out, you're looking at it live, that that video ended up being a very critical clue in getting that guy arrested. It looked like she was fighting. She fell flat on her face. A terrifying and brutal attack at one of the key's most iconic landmarks. Watch as this man has a woman in a headlock. She's resisting. He then shoves her behind the southernmost point marker in Key West, where prosecutors say he sexually assaults her. Minutes later, she stumbles and runs. He zips up his pants. But what he might not have known is there is a web camera right here, live streaming everything. And it just so happens a 911 dispatcher 1600 miles away in Boston was watching the webcam and calls Key West police. I'm actually calling from Boston, but bear with me, this is going to sound crazy, but I'm at work and I had the, uh, you know, the southernmost web point cam. Yeah, I could almost swear that I saw somebody get raped. According to the report, witnesses in Key West also call police after seeing a nude female crying and screaming. Officers meet up with her at a nearby hotel and later learn she was reportedly raped earlier in the night off Duval Street. The man identified as Carrie Calvin Gasag claims he stepped in to rescue her and drive her away. Instead, he drives her to the iconic buoy and terrorizes her again, even returning to tamper with evidence. He came back and scooped up her clothes. Gasag is arrested and nearly two years later on Thursday pleaded guilty to all counts against him. And so Gasag will be going to prison for 10 years, five years probation. That other suspect was also arrested. He has a hearing later this month. We're live in Key West. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News.